Hi, my name is Martina Padrina and I will be demonstrating the valence bond theory and crystal field theory diagrams of CO NH3 6 3 plus. First, it is important to identify the components that make up a coordination compound. In regards to the oxidation state, it is shown by the charge, which in this case is 3 plus. The coordination number is the number of atoms that can be attached to the metal. Because of this, the coordination number here is 6. From this, we can determine the shape of the compound. Because of the coordination number being 6, the shape of the compound is octahedral. From this, we can also determine the type of hybridization. Because of the shape of the compound being octahedral, the type of hybridization is D2SP3. This will be shown in more depth through the valence bond theory diagram. It is also important to take a look at the ligand of the coordination compound, which in this case is NH3. Based off the chart, NH3 is considered a strong field ligand. Because of this, it has a large splitting energy as well as a shorter wavelength. This will be shown more in depth through the crystal field diagram. Within the coordination compound that we are studying, the central atom is cobalt, specifically CO3+. And by its configuration and in the periodic table, cobalt 3 plus has six electrons in the 3D orbital. As there are four unpaired electrons in the 3D orbital, we can pair those up in the excited state by adding pairing energy. By pairing the four unpaired electrons from the ground state to the excited state, we can see that there are two empty spaces in the 3D orbital. With this being said, we can hybridize it in the bonded state. Through the process of hybridization from the excited state to the bonded state, we can bring down the six paired electrons in the 3D orbital and show that there are six sigma NH3 bonds in the D2SP3 orbital. Through the valence bond theory diagram, we can also claim of an inner d orbital complex. This is shown through the hybridization process in which we had taken two spots from the 3d orbital. Therefore, through the valence bond theory diagram, we can easily show that the hybridization is d2sp3, which was also determined by the shape of the compound. In regards to the crystal field diagram, it is important to note that the 3D orbital in the central atom is being split into two sublevels, which are called EG and T2G. Alongside this, if we refer back to the chart, NH3 is a strong field ligand, which shows that there is a large splitting energy. This is shown in the crystal field diagram. This explains that higher energy must be absorbed to promote an electron from the T2G to the EG level. However, in this case, the electrons are all placed in the T2G sublevel. As demonstrated here, the six electrons in the 3D orbital was placed into the DXY, DZY, and DXZ components of the T2G sublevel, all paired. This would also demonstrate that there is a large repulsion between the ligands electrons and the d electrons of cobalt, particularly in the dz squared and dx squared minus y squared orbitals. This crystal field diagram also demonstrates how splitting energy is greater than pairing energy. By looking at the two diagrams side by side, you can see that in the crystal field diagram, the 3d orbital of cobalt 3 plus matches the valence bond theory diagrams 3D orbital of cobalt 3 plus in the ground state. When referring to the chart one last time, as stated before, NH3 is a strong field ligand and has a large splitting energy as demonstrated through the crystal field diagram. This shows that it absorbs higher energy and has a higher frequency, therefore has a shorter wavelength. Finally, in regards to the magnetism, this coordination compound is diamagnetic. 
as it is shown in the valence bond theory diagram through the excited state and the bonded state as the 3D electrons are all paired together. This is also shown in the crystal field theory diagram as all electrons from the 3D orbital were paired in the T2G sublevel. Alongside this, this is also a low spin complex due to the fact that in the crystal field theory diagram, there are electrons in the T2G orbital that are paired before the EG orbital due to a large splitting energy.